considering example two then, so if we're given a probability generating function, we need to understand what that represents and how to represent that as a probability distribution. So the powers of t represent the possible values that x can be. So we can set up our probability distribution with those values in and the coefficients represent our probabilities. So as I say, it's just an alternative way of representing a probability distribution. But as you're going to see as we progress through this pack, um, this idea of representing it as a power series in T or a polynomial in T has its advantages. And there are things that we can then do with this polynomial form um, that enable us to um, derive some results, uh, etc. cetera, um, further on down the line. Okay, if we want just to finish the example, if we want to find the probability x is equal to four, we can just pick it straight off our from our either our coefficient or from our table, and probability that x is less than or equal to three is the sum of this one, this one, uh, and this one, so zero point three nine. Okay, so the only thing new really about example two was just how the um, probability distribution was introduced to us by using the probability generating function form rather than the probability distribution form. Another example then, example three, this time we've, the probability generating function is being defined uh, as uh, in this form. Um, so a couple of things here, first of all we've got an unknown k so if we've got an unknown in our probability generating function, we can use this important result mentioned earlier in video one, that gx of one is always equal to one. So if we substitute t as one into our formula, set it equal to one, that enables us to work out k. Uh, so this result is an important one. You'll use it uh, many times with probability generating functions. And then uh, having found what our value for k is, we can now expand out our brackets and represent our probability generating function in a form more compatible with a probability distribution. So with it expanded out and k substituted in, we can then write down our possible values that x can take. Those are the powers of a dummy variable t and the probabilities are our coefficients.